Hi, I'm Robert Soler from BioSliding, and I'm gonna to talk to you about melanopsin. Melanopsin is a newly discovered photoreceptor, discovered in 2001. Um, and so what we understand about this photoreceptor is that it's fundamentally different than our classical visual photoreceptors that we're using, that you're using to watch this video. Um, so if you take a neuronal measurement of this photoreceptor, basically what we, end, what we see is that it responds instantly to light stimulus represented by this black bar, and it responds well after that light stimulus is gone. And so what we understand is that it's actually integrating light over time, and it's integrating based on intensity, wavelength, and the duration, how long you get that exposure for is what it's trying to figure out what to do with this light signal. And so what we understand is that this photoreceptor is trying to get an ambient sense of what's going on in the world around us. And so it's kind of likened to what we understand about the ear. You know, it handles hearing, but it also handles our balance. So what we're understanding is that our eyes actually have two processes as well, vision and non-vision responses of light. So if you take a mouse model, you can actually stain these photoreceptors and you can actually see where they're projecting to in the brain. And so where they go to are the OPN, which drives how our pupils constrict and dilate to light, they go to the LGN, which is basically where our eyes converge and start the visual process, but our understanding is this is all about brightness perception. And it goes to the SEN, where our circadian rhythms are located. And so basically, let me operationalize this for you. How all this stuff works is basically, how big are your pupils? Probably no one knows how big their pupils are right now. But you know that if you go outside, your pupils are gonna get smaller. And so when that happens, it's letting less light in. And so you would think that you may see outside as the same brightness or even dimmer because your pupils are letting less light in. But in fact, you perceive that, that space as being brighter. And so what's happening is it's constricting our pupils to protect our eyes from getting too much light exposure. But at the same time, it's giving the perception of a brighter space. And then when we get that bright light signal, it's telling the SEN, the master clock, that it's daytime. And it's the time that this is the thing that we're supposed to synchronize to. And that's how our melanopsin works for the non-visual responses to light. Thank you for your attention. If you need any more information about our technology or our products, please visit us at www.biosliding.com. I'm Robert Solaire for Biosliding.